Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. And I have been out and about exploring, doing some mining, stuff like that. I came across this abandoned mine shaft. I've been spending a while down here. I've been down here probably for about an hour now. <laughs> and we have gotten uh, a little bit of a haul, to say the least. And I was out and about, and I came across something that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, although I'm having difficulty finding it now. Hello, Iron. Come to me. I need all of you. Um, let's see. Where did it go? It was deeper in the cave. I remember that. Oh, man. I hope I can find it now. Was it up here? No. Um. Maybe it was this way. Was it this way? Oh, ooh, hello, iron. I have found so much iron down here. I think I've found... Well, let's see. I have found... <laughs> five and a half stacks of iron <laughs> down here, which is just insane. And over a stack of gold, ton of diamonds, uh, just, just a ridiculous amount of stuff. Oh, I think it's... Is it over here? Oh, man. I can't believe I lost it. Let me go see if I can find it, guys. I'll come back to you in just a sec. Ah! I am back. I found it. It took me way longer than it should have. But check this out! Natural generation. Three minecart chests. All, like, right next to each other. Um, some, a lot of this stuff I'm just gonna leave behind because I don't really need it. But still, just look at all this stuff. I mean, this is... Uh, I will take that. This is all great stuff. I would bring the melon seeds, but we already have melons from visiting the jungle, I believe. Gold ingots, torches galore, a little bit of coal. Just insane. Just insane stuff. But then, it gets even crazier. Check this out. Check this out. Let's see if I can find it again. Um... Let's see, you went... Here was this part. Oh yeah, up here. So then you come up here... And BAM! Two more chests, right next to each other. <laughs> it's just, just insane. Golden apples? Iron? All sorts of craziness. I mean, man, talk about a haul of good stuff. Just insane. Just absolutely insane. Um, anyway, I've got basically more stuff than I can carry at this point. Uh, so I think I'm going to be heading back here pretty quick. And I've got a lot of really good stuff to show you. Some major progress has been made between episodes, my friends. Some absolutely major progress. So, uh, let me just finish... Doing a little bit of caving here, a little bit of exploring, all that kind of good stuff. Get some more of this lovely iron and all that kind of stuff. And I will meet you back in just a sec. Alright guys, I am back. And from that one little caving mining adventure, this is what I got. We got six stacks. Six full stacks of iron ore. Stack and 21 gold. 54 coal blocks, 29 redstone blocks, 38 lapis blocks, and 41 diamonds. All just from that one little mining expedition. That's not too bad, if I do say so myself. That's not too bad at all. Um, can we... yeah, cool. Let's put a bunch of this stuff away where it belongs. And I'm thinking... We do a little bit of that, and then I'll keep this guy. Put 64 coal in there so we can make torches when we need it. And actually, we're going to take, I think, pretty much all of our diamonds with us. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we take all of our diamonds with us? And let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we'll put all this stuff in the auto smelter. Uh, we're getting pretty close to a beacon. I mean, this will take us to about here or so, and we need to be about, uh, 
here, I believe, in order to get a full beacon. Which isn't bad, and I've already got the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Uh, I got those between episodes two episodes ago or something like that. Uh, at a uh, Nether Fortress in the Nether. So, uh, all in all, we're getting pretty close to that point. But I don't really want to bother with fighting the Wither until I can actually make use of a beacon. And right now, I just don't have the iron to make a full beacon base. So, at this point, it's kind of like, eh, do I really want to bother with this? Um, but... What we're going to do is we're going to load up on some stuff. I'm going to grab a few things, and I'm going to head into the end and show you what I've been working on. All right, guys. I am back, and we are in the end, which has been all nicely lit up. Now, I want to caveat this by saying that this is the first time I have... The last episode was recorded, like, four days ago, okay? And I've been working a little bit on this. Actually, I've been working a lot of bit on this. Kind of throughout the week. Haven't recorded anything. Because usually once I'm done with work, I'm just so tired that I just don't have any motivation to record. But, ta-da! We have ourselves an Ender Ender. Now, there's a few reasons that I didn't build this on camera. Um, first and foremost, this is not my farm design. I did not come up with this. This is a Doc M design, uh, and I will link his video in the description down below. Uh, I believe there are two videos. There's one where he builds it and then one where there's like a fix because it broke after a patch or something i'm not really sure uh but i'll link it and if you want to build this thing for yourself you can watch that video it explains it very well it's a very 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 simple farm to build uh you don't have to have any sort of mastery of redstone or anything like that uh which is great because as you guys know by now that is not me so um, we will kind of talk a little bit about the design, the aesthetic portions of it, though. I'm using acacia planks, acacia, uh, or acacia logs, acacia planks, glowstone here for lighting, and then sandstone. And I decided to use sandstone because it's easy to get a lot of it in huge quantities, even if you don't have, uh, an efficiency 5 pick and a beacon. You can instamine it with an efficiency 4 pick. And so... That's what we decided to do. Uh, here we've got our little Enderman killing area right here, which gives you just ridiculous, just ridiculous amounts of drops and experience and all sorts of stuff like that. Over here we've got all of our storage for primarily Ender Pearls, because that's what this farm will be producing more than I know what to do with. Uh, we've got a little garbage disposal over here with a trapdoor on the floor. And then just in case I open it and fall in, there's a secondary trapdoor right there. And we can throw stuff out like so. Or... Or not. Um, try again. There we go. Gonna throw stuff into the void. And then probably most importantly, over here, we've got our enchanting area. And this is what brings us here today. So, we've got some lapis stored over here, a couple of anvils and then a whole bunch of books, and I already brought all my mending books over. I have one, two, three, four, five, and I need one, two, three, four. So I need four mending books to get full mending gear. Uh, and that's what I want to do. So let me do some enchanting. Uh, I did, you know what, I should probably put down that guy. So we can make stuff as needed. But let me do some enchanting, let me get some stuff ready, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back, and I'm gonna call it a success. Check this out. So we've got our helm with Aqua Affinity Fire Protection 4, Mending and Respiration 3, Unbreaking, of course. Chest plate, fire protection again. I was really hoping to get um, projectile prote protection on the helm, but I just tried and tried, and I just couldn't get it. So I finally said, you know what, if I'm gonna die, I'm probably going to die in lava anyway, so the extra fire protection might come in handy. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, our legs have blast protection and thorns too. Our boots have feather falling, depth strider, and regular protection. So all in all, good set of armor. And then all of our tools are efficiency 5. Um, the, the shovel's silk touch. The axe is fortune 3. The... Uh, this pick is fortune. Oh, that's not efficiency five. I just realized I have another. Ooh, good thing I didn't leave just yet. I almost forgot something, which would have been unfortunate. 
Um, efficiency, there we go. This guy is supposed to be efficiency five. Five, five, okay, so all of this is efficiency five. Let's also check, do I have sharpness three? I'm almost tempted to put smite onto my ax. That's actually probably a really good idea. Let's do that. Let's just drop smite on there. And instead of the lumber axe, we will call it the... Um... Slayer axe, maybe? No, we'll call it the knight's axe. Knight's... Battle axe. Sure, we'll call it the Knight's Battle Axe. <laughs> Why not? And then I'll just get some more levels so that when I head back, I can drop another Smite book on it, and it will have Smite 5. And then I can do crazy amounts of damage to undead stuff. So, that's the plan. I'm going to do that, and I will meet you back in Altum very shortly. All right, guys, I am back, and I was going to meet you in Altoon, but I decided to meet you here in the farming village instead, which we still haven't come up with an exact name for. You guys have had a lot of really good suggestions, and there's a couple of them that I'm thinking about, uh, but I haven't settled on a name yet. Not just yet. Uh, what I want to do here is a couple things. First and foremost, I want to build an elytra launcher, <laughs> which I promise is not going to be nearly as complicated as you might think. I, I think it was Tango Tech on Hermitcraft who uh, who came up with this design. I think it was Tango. It may have been Impulse. I don't remember, but I'm 99% I'm sure it was Tango. Uh, but basically, super, super simple elytra launcher. You just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then on the 30th block, you drop a string. And then you just slowly work your way down. String is still there. And then all you have to do, and it's not truly a launcher so much as it is just a, a great uh, launching point. And it's super simple, and you can kind of put these around anywhere you want in your world, which is why I like it. Uh, and to kind of mark the spot, I'm putting it here on top of this andesite, so we put our thing on... Oh, I should probably grab my other bow. There we go, you put on your elytra. You grab yourself an ender pearl. You stand on, you stand on top of the thing. You look straight up. And uh, I I may have done it wrong. Did I do it wrong? Oh, I did it wrong. Maybe it was a different number of blocks. Well, let's try this again. All right, guys, I am back. So I changed it to twenty-five blocks instead. And I think that'll do the trick. So we throw that and you just engage your elytra and then you're airborne so you can fly. And as long as you're halfway decent with the little bow thingy, uh, which I'm not horrendous at, I'm getting better. Uh, you basically have an elytra launcher. You can just launch yourself up and use the bow to get around. It's, and it doesn't cause any lag, which is the big reason that I like this design. And it's super simple. So. Uh, t up 25 blocks. I think you can go higher than that. I thought it was 30. Maybe I miscounted or something. But either way, uh, up 25 blocks, drop a piece of string on top, and then you just stand directly under it, look straight up, throw an ender pearl, and engage your wings. And that is it. Super, super easy. So, we've got one of those over here, uh, just to make it easier to get back and forth from village to village. Uh, let's just put away that stuff. And then... Let's see about getting some animals in here, because I think we are long overdue for, for some livestock. So, let's grab some spruce fences. Let's grab some cobblestone walls, maybe? No, I don't think I want to use cobblestone walls for this. I think maybe we'll go oak. I'm thinking oak fences. 
and oak, uh, and then like spruce fence gates, maybe. And we'll see if we can come up with some kind of a nifty design of some sort. Uh, I'm gonna need way, 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 way more fences than that. There we go. That's a bit more like it. Okay, cool. So, let's... Oh, it's getting dark. Can I sleep? Nope, not yet. It's not night. The sky says it's night, but it's not actually night. Let's try again. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, I had said that there were a couple reasons that I didn't build the Enderman farm on camera. One of them was that it was Doc M's design and not mine. The other reason, too, is that I've built that farm on camera um, at least two other times, maybe even three. I know for sure I built it in Wells Knight's Realm, and I know for sure I built it in Chaos Craft. So, if you do want to see the thing built by me on camera, you can go and look at those episodes, but... Uh, I didn't really want to build it for a third time on camera, especially since it's not my farm design. So, if you want to see how to build a farm, just check out Doc's video. He explains it very well. Uh, and as I said, I'll put a link to that in the description. But as far as farms go, so we're going to have kind of a main pathway that goes here. And it'll kind of come out along this way and go out here. And I'm thinking over here hmm yeah I'm thinking over here is kind of where we're gonna put the animal uh, farm things so what we'll do is I think I'm gonna build up two like that in fact maybe it would be better to use some cobblestone walls in this let's just grab a couple and kind of see what we think of this so we could go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we could build that up too. And then we could drop fences on top of it like that for our animal pens. And that's not bad. That's not too bad at all. And then we'll say our main entrance way will be maybe here for this pen. So this will be like our main gateway. And I think we'll bring it up two. Or do we want to go up? Hmm. I'm almost tempted to bring it up higher than that. I think we are going to bring it up higher than that. We can do we can do a little better. So maybe we go here and then bring that over. And then right here. Ooh. That's kind of a cool look. Super simple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, and then 1 2 3 here. And then we'll bring this guy back to here, like so, and then just fill in these gaps. And this will be one of our animal pens. I don't know yet what animals we're going to put in what pens. I'm thinking this might be cows right here. Possibly. This could be a good place to put cows. You know, we put our gates in. And that all seems fine and dandy. So, why don't we grab... Yeah, I think cows are probably the way to go there. Uh, let's just grab a little bit of wheat. Actually, let's... Let's harvest the wheat that we can. Because ultimately, we're going to want to breed these guys, too. So, we'll just get... This wheat that's fully grown. And looks like... This is all fully grown around here as well. I don't remember if I added this on... I think I may have added this little section here off camera. Um, the farms were looking a little bit boring. Uh, and I should also mention, these are not going to be the only farms that have actual crops. Uh, we're going to have rolling fields of wheat and things like that when all is said and done. But uh, these are going to be just kind of the first farms that I put up. These will be the more controlled ones, if you will that are kind of in like a fenced-in area. 
And then as we expand this little farming village, uh, we will add, you know, other farms and rolling fields and all sorts of fun stuff like that. So I just want to kind of mention that uh, these are not going to be the only farms uh, because these are kind of, you know, they, they get the job done and they look all right. Uh, but I added a, another layer. So we got the main layer here and then this kind of wraps around uh, and has more crops. So it works. It's just kind of a simple little way to add a little bit more interest to it. Uh, these farms are more for aesthetic purposes than anything else, honestly. Uh, but let's see. Let's see if we can track down some cows. I know that there are some around. I mean, we are in a field. There's a cow. Do you have a cow friend by any chance? Tell me we have more than one cow. I mean, we have to. Oh, there's one way over there. That's just complicated. Do we really only have this one cow? There's no way that... Oh, that's right. A bunch of the livestock were over that way. I remember now. Okay, so we'll head over there. Let's bring this guy home. And begin his life of captivity. Come on, cow. You can do it. And there we go. One cow in the pen. One more to go. Uh, and then we can breed. And realistically, I'd like to get more than that if we could find them. I feel like there are more cows over here. I see one floating in the water, but that's just so much work. Um, we've got a couple floating in the water over here. This guy's close enough to the shore that we can probably get him out and get him up here. Yeah, there we go. And then we can start with... Oh, I didn't want the sheep. Um... Hmm. How can I separate out the sheep? Maybe what I'll do is I'll just get this one cow and then I'll kill this extra sheep. That might be the way to go. Because I don't want to have my sheep and my cows intermingled. I want them in separate pens. Oh, there we go. We lost him. Good. All right. And there we have it. Both cows are in the pens. So we can get those guys breeding up like so. There we go. We also need to do something to this area. Cows do not need grass. So I think we're going to try and kind of do something with that area to make it look a little better. Because right now it, don't, it doesn't look so good. And I think we can do better with that. Um, unfortunately, I just realized that I think all of my good materials for that are elsewhere. Uh, specifically back in Altum. So... Why don't we head back back there, I think. Yeah, why don't we head back to Altum? It'll give us a chance to try out our new Elytra launcher and give it a proper test instead of just, uh, you know, kind of showing you I'll be able to actually uh, do like a show and tell. So we'll throw that up there. And... Come on! Oh, man. Wow! Fail! That was, that was horrible. Don't judge me. Don't judge me based on that flight. That was absolutely atrocious. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> okay, take two. Mm. Didn't get a great start there, but there we go. We got a good boost. We got what we needed, so we should be able to make it all the way to Ultum now. Just fly up a little bit. And I do want to get a road going in here. I still haven't actually worked on the road design, but, uh, yeah, that's all right. So I'm going to grab a couple things from here. I think we will need definitely more cobblestone if we're going to be using cobblestone walls. So let's grab some of that. And then I want a little bit of coarse dirt. Uh, regular dirt I don't really need. And I think, ooh, is that all the pods I have? I guess it is. Hmm. I thought I had more than that. That's okay. It's too bad, though. I was really thinking I had a lot more Podzel. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? We're right next to the Spruce Forest. We're right next to the Mega Taiga. We can just go get more Podzel. Why don't we do that? That's probably easier than trying. I can't, I thought I, hmm. I'm just really wondering, because I thought I grabbed a massive amount of Podzel from over here before I... 
I don't know. Either way, it doesn't particularly make a difference. Uh, let's just get a little bit of this. I just want enough to kind of give sort of a muddy appearance uh, to the ground inside the pens. Because one way that we can make... I mean, to be completely honest, I really kind of struggle to make animal pens look interesting. Because, I mean, it, it's a pen, and it holds animals. And, you know, it's... <sighs> I don't know. It's just something that I kind of struggle with. So this is a way. Oh, my. Mm. All right. Tell you what. Let's ender pearl somewhere. Where can we ender pearl to that will give us a decent flying off point? Um, oh, that should do. There we go. Let's ender pearl on top of this tree. That should give us enough space, right? I think. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So anyway, I kind of struggle with animal pens because, I mean, let's be honest. They hold animals and it's really kind of hard to make them look really, truly interesting, at least for me. Um, speaking of which, if you have ideas for how to make animal pens look really good, uh, please let me know on Twitter and things because I, as I said, it's something I struggle with. But I think one thing we can kind of do here to just uh, kind of add some interest to this is we can kind of mess up the terrain a bit. So we're going to take some podzel and we're just going to kind of work that in around here like so. And then I'm also going to want, mm, that's too, too symmetrical, I think. Uh, I'm also going to want to work in some coarse dirt as well. Maybe here and over there. Uh, not there, though. Maybe here. Oh, that one can go down there. All right, let's give that a try. See what we think. Um, that's not bad. That's not terrible. It's better than it was. It really needs some elevation. Uh, ooh, I know how we can do that. Let's just take a couple path blocks and make some of these path blocks because those give us that very minor elevation change that we need. Yeah, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. And then we'll put a couple torches like that. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get lighting in here to keep things from spawning. So that's going to be kind of a... Ooh, and I just realized... Oh, I can see the comments raging already. <laughs> I forgot fences on one side. I bet you guys were ready to freak out. <laughs> you forgot the fences. There we go. <laughs> Fixed. Oh, man, that would have been... That would have been kind of terrible. Um, let's put torches here in the corners. That's still going to leave this middle section where stuff can spawn. Uh, but I think that'll get rid of the majority of the spawnable areas inside the farm. So, uh, and if something does happen to spawn, I mean, we can always just hit it with a bow or, uh, you know, something like that. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, so we got one animal farm down and I think sheep are probably going to be the next ones. Now, sheep do not uh, have, we, sheep need grass. Sheep need grass and sheep need lots of grass. So the option of just kind of, you know, doing this mix with the floor, that's not going to work so well with sheep. So I think, I think I need to come up with something a little better for the sheep. Uh, and actually, you know, the other thing we could do we could take a little bit of bone meal here and go into the cow farm 
and we can bone meal some of this just to make it a bit more interesting. There we go. And I do want to get rid of the flowers because those don't feel very farm-ish to me. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. And then we'll do, you know, other stuff as well. Ooh, hi, skeleton. Ha! In the face. Beautiful. So, yeah, I think sheep is next. Then we'll do cows and chickens. Uh, but I think we're going to hold off on that because I am out of time for this episode, guys. If you have ideas for how to make your animal farms look gorgeous, please let me know. Send them to me on Twitter or Facebook or something. I'd love to see those um, because I... You know, this is not bad, but I really do think we can do better. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.